Hello, my name is Ahmed El Tayeb, and I am an XR bootcamp graduate with a background in medicine. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of making a virtual reality blackboard with chalk and an eraser from scratch, so you can add that functionality to your VR classrooms. By the end, you'll have something like this. This tutorial will be divided into the following parts. First, I'll cover the basic requirements needed. Then I'll walk you through how to create and set up the Unity VR project. Then we'll go through how to make the basic whiteboard and chalk. And then we'll make the chalk grabbable. And finally, we'll make some tweaks to the settings to get it to look how we want. The first thing is hardware requirements. You'll need a sufficiently powerful computer and an Oculus 2 VR headset with an Oculus Link cable. Software-wise, we'll be using Unity Engine version 2021.3.17 F1 and Oculus Integration SDK as well. To follow along with me, you need to ensure you meet the minimum system requirements and perform some initial setup steps. These include downloading the Oculus Desktop software, Oculus Developer Hub, and Oculus Mobile app, as well as enabling developer mode. If you haven't performed these, Dilmer Veleselos has a great guide on YouTube, which you can find in the description below. You can watch that video if you haven't performed these steps and come back when you're ready to follow along. First, ensure you've installed the latest version of the Unity editor. This project will use Unity 2021.3.17 F1. Ensure you tick the Android build support modules when downloading. Allow it to finish downloading and install it. Click New Project. Select 3D Universal Render Pipeline. Give your project a name and select the location on your PC that you want. And then click Create Project. There we go. Next up, we need to import Oculus Integration SDK. To do this, go to the Unity Asset Store and search Oculus Integration. Then click Open in Unity. Alternatively, you can download the package from the Oculus Developer website. To manually import, click Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and click Oculus Integration Package from the file browser where you downloaded it. Make sure you download the latest version. I use B49 in this project. Once you've done that, click import in the package manager, then click import again. Click yes when asked if you want to use the new OVR plugin. Click use OpenXR when asked if you want to use OpenXR as a backend. Click OK. Click restart. Click show assets for a deprecated interaction SDK when it pops up. Click delete assets. Click upgrade for the spatializer pop-up and click restart when prompted. Our next task is to set up the project. Click file, then build settings, then click Android and click switch platform. Next, we go to the project settings and go to player settings. Here you can change the company name. Ensure the color space is linear, not gamma. Uncheck the Auto Graphics API box. Make sure to use OpenGLE S3. Ensure the multi-threaded rendering is enabled. Set the minimum API level to Android 10, which is API level 29. Change the scripting backend to IL2CPP. Uncheck ARM v7. Check the ARM64 box. Next, we install XR Plugin Management. We click the Android symbol and then check the Oculus box. We can go to the PC symbol and check the Oculus box there too. Okay, now let's set up the scene for VR quickly. I delete the global volume and I'll delete the main camera later, but you can do this now if you wish. I also change the skybox by going to Window, Rendering, 
lighting, environment, and changing the skybox from default to gradient. I also dragged the room environment prefab from the Oculus package into the scene to make it more interesting. These two steps are not that important and they're just for aesthetics. Now we're going to search for the Oculus integration sample rig. We'll drag and drop it into the hierarchy. Okay, initially to make the marker, I just create a cylinder by right clicking, selecting 3D object and then cylinder. I resize it to make it smaller. Then we'll create a material and name it white chalk material and add it to the chalk object. We'll come back to this later. For now, let's focus on the blackboard. First, create a plane. Scale the plane to the size you want. Here I give it a 2 to 1 width to height ratio, like a simple blackboard. Now create a camera game object, the child of the plane. Next, remove its audio listener. Now set it from perspective to orthographic projection. Next, go down to the asset folder and create a render texture. Set the resolution size of the render texture by making sure it's not too high or low and is the same aspect ratio as the plane. Here I chose 4096 by 2048. Now set the render texture to the output texture of the camera. Adjust the projection size and clipping plane of the camera to fit the plane. I come back and tweak this a bit later on in the video so don't worry. Now create a new material, drag the material onto the plane. Set the render texture to be the base map of the material. Rotate the camera 180 degrees so the mark of the chalk is in the correct place on the plane. Create a new layer called Marker. Set the chalk to the marker layer. Set the culling mask of the camera to only show the marker layer. Ensure the chalk material is set to two-sided so the backboard will work even when the camera sees inside the marker. Now we are going to make the chalk grabbable. To do this, first we are going to go to the controller interactors in each controller game object. And search for controller grab interactor. Drag and drop into each controller interactor game object on each controller. Add left and right respectively to their names. Reference each controller by dragging the parent left controller or right controller into the slot on the grab interactor called controller ref. You may find this is done automatically, but if not, make sure to do it yourself. Reference the grab interactor in the controller interactor's game object under poke interactor for both the right and left controllers. Now, go to the chalk 3D game object. Ensure it has a collider. If not, then add one manually. Add a rigid body component. Add a grabbable component. Check transfer on second selection to allow you to grab it from one hand to the other by overriding the current hand's grab or selection. Now, add a one grab free transformer component and drag this into the slot of the grabbable component. Then add a grab interactable component. Drag the grabbable component into the pointable element slot of the grab interactable component. 
Then do the same for the rigid body component. We're almost done. Now just add a physics grabbable component and drag it into the respective slot in the grab interactable component. Finally, search for Oculus Touch for Quest 2 and select the pink material here. We're going to fix this by converting it to be compatible with Universal Render Pipeline. To do this, make sure you've selected the material, then go to the top left and click Edit Rendering Fields and click Convert Selected Built-in Material to URP to avoid the material showing up as pink. Just press Ctrl and Save. Save the scene and you'll see the Quest Controller material appear where it was pink before. This is what it looks like now when I try it. When we test it out now, the chalk is grabbable and marks the blackboard, but there are a few issues with how the marker looks on the blackboard. I'm going to show you some tweaks that helped me fix this too. We're going to make some adjustments to fix the camera and the material and appearance of the chalk. First change the white chalk material shader from Universal Render Pipeline lit to universal render pipeline unlit. This stops the mark of the chalk being affected by lighting. Make a new chalk in the shape of a capsule as this seems to work better than the cylinder. Add the new chalk to the marker layer. Now adjust the white chalk material so that the surface type is transparent. The blending mode should be alpha. The render face should be both. And then tick the alpha clipping box. And you can leave the threshold as 0 0.5. Let's try it now in VR. This is how it looks now. We want to adjust the camera slightly, so set the cam projection size to 0.5, the clipping plane near value to minus 0.04, and the far value to 0.01. Then set the camera position to 0 on all three axes. You can make more chalk by duplicating the white chalk theme object and creating a new material with the same settings but changing the color to whatever you wish. You can build an eraser by creating and shaping a cube and adding it to the marker layer. Then making it grabbable by following the same steps as for the chalk. You can then create a material with the same settings but set its color to black and its alpha value to zero. So there you have it. Here's the end result of my attempt to make a VR blackboard by following the steps I detailed in this video. I hope you find it helpful as I enjoyed making this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to XR Bootcamp's YouTube channel and check out their website for more great tutorials and courses. There's also a written version of this tutorial on the website if you prefer to read the steps there. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, you'll find me as Ahmed El Tayeb. And finally, here are some acknowledgements for videos that help me out. You'll be able to find them in the description below.